There are a few gacha games I really enjoy covering because they're just an, an endless source of content. Genshin Impact, Nino Kuni Cross Worlds when it was still relevant, Noah's Heart, and Tower of Fantasy. I don't personally dislike any of these games. On the contrary, I really like Genshin, but Hoyo do a lot of dumb things, and I really enjoy Tower of Fantasy. I think it is still a fun game, but the devs and the publishers both continue to do a lot of dumb things. The most recent instance of something dumb happening comes in the form of Tower of Fantasy employing AI voice acting. Now this has caused some drama. There are people over on Reddit, over on social media claiming, oh my God, Tower of Fantasy can't even afford to, to fully voice their game now. I don't know, maybe that's true. Maybe the voice actor was busy and this was just a scene or numerous scenes where they just felt it would be easier to utilize AI voice acting. But at the same time, if they do it one time, that it sets a precedent where they can and likely will do it again in the future. Now, I'm not hating on AI. I've just never heard a good AI dub. I have heard numerous gotcha games and mobile games in general with horrible English dubs, Japanese dubs that are produced by AI. And this is no different. This is cheap, this is easy, and this will put real legitimate voice actors out of work. But at the same time, this is kind of what Tower of Fantasy has become known for. Now we took a look at the on stream, so I'm just gonna play the video. Before I do though, I wanna take a moment to thank all our incredible patrons over on Patreon and allow for me to continue to do dedicated videos like this every single day. You guys are phenomenal and I cannot thank you all enough for the support. Now let's go ahead, jump in, and see what people are mad about this time. All right, let's, let, okay. So before reading that, okay, I will point out 3.0, 3.1 and 3.2 were considerably better in terms of storytelling than 1.0 through 1.4, 2.0 through 2.x. So I will note that the the story was considerably better in 3.x. So let, let, let's see why they're complaining that the story got worse, okay? The story was already bad up until 3.0. I agree, 3.0 somehow managed to conclude in possibly the worst story arc I've seen of a gacha game ever. Okay, that's pretty bad given I've, I've played a lot of gacha games in this story and about 95% of them are absolutely horrible. It's so clear they regret Domain 9 and want to immediately rushed to 4.0. They already scrapped at least one region in Domain 9 and three new characters, half-assedly replacing them with characters that have no relation to Domain 9 at all, but onto the story. I'm only gonna talk about the recent 3.6 story, which released last week. Actually, I did, I did cover that in a news video, because the other six hours of Domain 9 story apparently just don't matter besides a single cutscene with Nanyin's backstory. The plot makes literally zero sense. Nanyin, the villain, is shown to consistently be stronger than every character in the universe, yet somehow couldn't just take the gray space powers from all the beings of Domain 9 until we kill them. Literally the hive mother, she knows exactly where these beings are and controls them, but needs us to kill them first. And she, So this guy's just complaining that, what? That the plot, that the bad guy was, was what, dumb? That the bad, the conclusion with the bad guy was dumb? The dumbest scene in any game, she won shots and the old main villain of the game, the character they spent two years hyping up, literally a minute after we see the Hive Mother for the first time, then Nanyin fucking dies, and the plot just ends with Shirley randomly becoming a Hersher, and exactly zero setup for 4.0. I mean, like, if we were just looking at this and reading this from, you know, this person's perspective, yes, this sounds really dumb. <laughs> totally, but okay. So basically this this is just this person complaining that this is an RPG Essentially is what I'm gathering from this 3.6's story was awful. Even you have to agree. Okay. Okay There's gotcha games for the story as we know. Yes, they do They absolutely love playing gotcha games for the story gotcha Gotcha games really thrive on setting up these beautiful narratives that are deep thought-provoking and complex This is honestly the most embarrassing story from any gotcha I have ever played. That is not true That is not true. I have seen worse. I played that slime game reincarnated as a slime recently I played devil may cry peak of combat Okay Devil may cry peak of combat. I did a video on Saying it, it is a must avoid 100% 
I got like 30, 40,000 views with hundreds of people reiterating that sentiment. I do not think this right here, this just seems like your normal, you know, shown in anime crap. They, they dumped the entire lore of the game in this quest in a 10 minute long dialogue scene. And the lore has literally nothing to do with anything in Domain 9. Just seems like a rushed attempt to give 4.0 lore instead of 3.0 lore. Okay, now let's see how people are responding. Can, can we can we take some bets here how people are gonna respond? Wait, isn't Tower of Fantasy dead? Wait, people still play Tower of Fantasy? Wait, what did you expect from Tower of Fantasy? Wait, Tower of Fantasy has a story? <laughs> let's let's see it. Let's see if we get any of those right. The game tries to do everything half-ass and then abandons it. I mean, that's not untrue. They have a lot of great ideas, but they don't have the follow-through. I think, to really bring those ideas to fruition. Are we supposed to be surprised? Finally, the Tower Fantasy Killer. Damn it! Oh man, I should have mentioned that one. Damn, okay. The story matches the UI. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like, I'm, I will be honest. I don't think the UI in Tower Fantasy was bad, right? Like, I never found Tower Fantasy's UI to be bad. I don't know, I've seen some bad UI. Like, I know, I know, you know, like maybe when you open, you hit escape and it has all the menus at the top right, yeah. But generally, I don't think the UI is bad. Doesn't surprise me that the devs fumble even the story after failing to keep the ridiculous power creep in check. See, that is a legitimate comment right there. Ridiculous power creep. See, that makes sense. That's a legit comment. Truly, one of the most Tower Fantasy moments. <laughs> The story has always been terrible. They have a quick dialogue and a quest, gather X items, go to X place, fight X monsters, rinse and repeat. The actual content is mindless dialogue. This guy just explained Genshin Impact, chap. He literally just explained Genshin Impact. Lots of dialogue, pointless dialogue, basic quests. That's Genshin. And I know that's gonna piss some people off, but that's, just, that's the truth. <laughs> And 99.9% .9 of MMOs, yeah, exactly. Final Fantasy XIV is like, here is a hundred hours of story, now go kill three squirrels. Like, <laughs> wow, <laughs> yeah. My issue is that the game is the same as other popular games, okay? How will Genshin be blamed for this? I mean, it, you know, <laughs> it shouldn't be. <laughs> if Genshin had good writing, they'd have copied that good <laughs> No, no, it wouldn't have mattered. Here we go. Could be the ending of a rush, trashy action drama anime. That is exactly what I said. I said it reminds me of a shonen anime. There we go. Tower Fantasy stories got worse in the most recent patch because they added AI voice acting in English and Japanese. Wait, did they? No, I don't. I, I, I struggle to believe that they added AI voice acting into the game. I do. Unless I can see this confirmed rather than just posted by one single person. I can stomach the bad story. Most gotcha games. AI voiceovers killed my interest and motivation. Didn't even finish that story. If this shit is true, holy fuck, though they couldn't go any lower. My sympathy for them is wavering. Oh, he has proof. This is a post I made mostly ignored by the community. Okay, hold on, hold on, okay. There is apparently proof. How is everyone? No injuries, I hope. <laughs> she sounds so fucking wrong, man. Who voiced her? Did she really any. just say about Nanyin? I don't even hear any of the voice acting though, chat. And then the audio cut off. I don't know. That is that one character sadly was clearly a they really did AI. They actually put AI voice acting into Tower of Fantasy. Really? And they did it in ja they did it in Japanese too? Is it the same character? Also, apparently, Japanese lawn voice was also mixed out of old phrases. They didn't even fucking try. That is wow. So I mean, like, yeah, I could, I can defend a lot of things. I can say, <laughs> I can say, you know, the story and everything is crap in MMOs. Like, people are 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 claiming this is bad when it's present in so many other games. But let's be honest, AI voice acting is fucking atrocious and it should not be present in a game with as large a budget as these games have. <laughs> yeah, proof. <laughs> I like literally, I sat there for a second, defended it, said, there's no way I refuse to believe it. Two seconds later, I scroll down, oh, there is proof. Uh, it was the NPC, okay. 
Can't defend Tower Fantasy. I tried. I did. I tried. You know what? You know what? I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna immediately jump to conclusions without proof. But if the proof is there, like, all right, let's see. The AI generated voiceovers. Um, let's see what people said. As a Japanese, I'm pretty sure that's AI generated voice. Wait, Lon's voice sounds like they just connected some of her random voice lines. AI voices wouldn't surprise me. I can't imagine them keeping every voice actor on speed dial for the tiny amount of voice content they add to the game each patch. Some English voice actors sound so bad, I can't really tell if it's AI. As far as hate goes, like that is completely warranted. Yeah, trashy as ever. All AI voice acting is trash. We played Moonlight Blade M and Revelation M recently both had full AI voice acting. Both were horrible. But if they do it one time, they will do it again. And that is, I think that is probably the most concerning thing about this. If they've used AI voiceovers for the game, then that means they are capable of doing it again whenever they want to. Although hopefully the reception for this was bad, but judging from the looks of things, it wasn't. I guess this probably should be more discussed. And if it is, I guess, discussed and received very negatively by the community, they might think twice about doing it again in the future because if it kind of just blew over and no one really cared, they might see this as a win. It's cheaper to produce, cheaper to do. This is so stupid and misinformation. No, this is not stupid. This is not misinformation. This is just his interpretation, I think. At the end of the day, this is just purely his interpretation of what happened. There's nothing stupid about it. There's nothing, there's no misinformation spread about it. This is what he believed happened and to him it did. Like whether there's more to it, or not, it doesn't matter. That's how, that was how he perceived it. it. Seems to me that people find reasons to readily bash on Tower of Fantasy. I mean, yeah, but have you seen Genshin? That gets shit on every day. Hold on. So there was a Billy Billy video uploaded. I guess we can take a look at that. Is this for uh, Evangelion? Shit, didn't mean to go widescreen. Calling someone's genuine opinion misinformation is crazy? I know. I know. He's saying, this is what happened when I played it. And they're like, no, that's misinformation. It's like, no, that really happened when he played it. <laughs> what is that music? <laughs> no, lots of people talk smack about Genshin. I talked smack about Genshin literally two weeks ago. I did a video that got like 30,000 views talking smack about their anniversary or their uh their the chinese new year thing incident going with maple story did i hear about it i did not no first time catching live stream i've only ever watched your youtube videos virgo dude how are you doing what's up oh i see ray Oh, she's dead. She's dead. She dead. Oh, my homies love to dunk on Genshin. Yeah, lots of people do. Oh! Everyone loves talking smack about Genshin. Everyone I know, every content creator I know, when I'm talking to them, always talk smack about Genshin. But they all play it and they all love it. So, they hate it, but they love it. Dude, that is sick. That looks so good. Okay, I've no I've seen enough hentai to know where that was going. This is a good trailer. What I don't like is the uh, the transition to gameplay. I feel like it ruins the immersion a little bit. Like have the cutscene happen. And then have the gameplay after. Don't transition between cutscene and and uh, 
gameplay when there is such a stark contrast in terms of appearance. Asuka Pog, yeah. Music is a little goofy. I thought the music was good. It just caught me by surprise. Thank you, Virgo, for the tier one, dude. I appreciate that. What's with the anime games lately? One Punch Man, El Evangelion, Tokyo Ghoul one? I don't know. Anime is popular. They're trying to milk it all for as much as they can. Oh, that's an interesting little schoolgirl outfit. Oh, that's actually not bad. Is fitting. Jazz, how are you doing, man? What's up? Fitting for Evangelion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. It just caught me very much by surprise. Where did you get the money to pay for this collab? Wales. Wales. Whoa. All right. Wait, is that a guy? Oh, that is. Okay, cool. Oh, and a girl. Oh, it's an outfit. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was a guy wearing leggings, and I was like, he had some sexy legs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought to myself for a second, like, I didn't know Chinese games were so progressive. <laughs> I dig it! No, that was cool. That was a cool trailer. 